Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at some absolutely awesome changes coming to RPCS3, the PlayStation 3 emulator, in the coming days. So as you can see, we are using the latest master right now. I'm just going to launch into Uncharted, one of the most demanding games on this emulator so far. So we're generally going to be skipping through cutscenes and splash screens as fast as possible just so we can get into gameplay. Okay, so let's come to Chapter Select and select Chapter 2, The Search for El Dorado. So the reason we are running this very first test is to see exactly how much of a performance increase we are seeing from the very latest master to these changes we are going to be seeing in the coming days and weeks. So now that we're in gameplay, you can see that we're getting between 25 and 26 FPS. However, when we actually come into controlled gameplay, our frame rate is dropping down to around 12 to 19 FPS in this area. So what we're going to do is we're going to proceed along this path until we can get to the temple ruins and get a gauge of exactly what our performance is like on the latest mainline release of RPCS3. So you can see that our frame rates are varying in between about 12 and 20 FPS at any given time in this area. The reason I have chosen this area is the later temple scene we are going to visit is going to be one of the most demanding areas in Uncharted Drake's Fortune. So you can see in this area when we look at this small waterfall we do actually jump up to the game's maximum frame rate of 30 FPS. However, in the area we're about to move to you can see that we're already dropping down to around 14 and 15 FPS. Okay, so we're just about to trigger a cutscene and I'm going to skip this one because I'm not going to force you guys to watch cutscenes in a performance benchmark. So once again, you can see we've dropped down to around 16, 17, 18 FPS and when we come through this small little grove, you're going to see our performance absolutely tank. And there you go, we've dropped down to 8, 9 and 10 FPS. We should get a small performance boost when we come around this corner, we usually do, but generally in this area performance is very very poor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look back here and you can see we're getting around around 9 or 10 FPS and when we look back out towards where practically nothing is being rendered we jump up to around 22 to 24. Okay, so what I'm now going to do is I'm going to swap over to a new PR which was made by the main developer of RPCS3, KD11, and we're going to see some upcoming fixes that RPCS3 is going to be seeing in the coming weeks. Okay, so now that we've transitioned over to this brand new experimental build and we're in the exact same gameplay scenario, you can see that whereas before we were hitting about 24 to 26 FPS, we are now getting 30 in this area. However, the most drastic performance changes are apparent when we come into controlled gameplay. You can see that whereas before we were hitting 13, 14 and 15 FPS, we are now getting between 25 and 30 FPS practically at all times in this gameplay situation. So let's just continue along the exact same path that we followed the last time we came through this area. Once again, you can see that this performance is not a fluke, we are indeed maintaining almost a locked 30 FPS in this area, whereas previously we were dropping down to around 13 and 14 FPS. Once again, let's continue the exact same path, take a look at our waterfall, we're getting 30 FPS and then we're going to need to proceed through this small grove area where we were previously seeing frame rates of about 15 and 16 FPS. As soon as we reach this palm tree, we're going to trigger a cutscene and once again we're just going to skip it so you guys don't have to watch it. So in our previous build in this area we were getting between 14 and 18 to 19 FPS, however the most significant performance boost is going to be apparent once we entered the temple ruins area. You can see that where we were previously dropping down to around 8 and 9 FPS, we are now maintaining frame rates in between 18 and 30 FPS practically at all times. What I now want to do is look back into the exact same performance demanding area where we were previously seeing between 7 and 9 frames per second and you can now see that the performance differences between the latest master and KD's latest PR is unbelievable. So when we actually look at this from a gameplay perspective the differences really are, as I said, night and day, moving from a laggy 5 to 9 FPS in this area and in practically all other performance intensive areas in the game, to a much more playable and reasonable performance level of between 18 and 30 FPS. 
Now, to be honest, the only realistic reason we saw those drops down to around 15 to 18 FPS was due to shader compilation lag. If you've seen any of my previous videos in the past weeks, you will have known that RPCS3 has introduced a new method of shader compilation. This method is called asynchronous shader compilation and instead of giving you stutter in gameplay, you will get small framerate drops and as you can see in some of the gameplay footage in this video, you will sometimes get texture pop in when these new shaders are added to your game. So there you go guys, a quick look at some of these work in progress features that are going to be coming to RPCS3 Master in the coming days and weeks. If you want to use this exact build that I am using, I will have it linked down in the description. If you have any other questions in relation to RPCS3 or any other emulators I cover on the channel, leave a comment down below this video or alternatively you can join my own official Discord server, a link for that will also be provided down in the description. So once again guys, Cheers for checking out the video, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, if you want to consider supporting me over on my Patreon, you can also find a link for that down in the description, and as always, subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.